we're going over aluminum coil repair, and so you really want to know how to use these rods. When we're soldering, we do have to use a flux. I can use a flux like this where we apply it first, we heat it up, and then we apply a solid rod. First, we got to make sure we clean this really good. This is going to be a stainless steel brush, and we're cleaning that copper so it's the aluminum so it's prepped and ready to go. And that's all it takes. So because aluminum has a low melting temperature, we don't want to leave the torch on there too long. We control the heat, adding more heat with it closer, reducing it by bringing it out farther. But if we add too much heat too fast, you'll end up melting all of this aluminum off. So what I'm doing is I heat it up enough to start melting that flux, and then I'm just simply adding in this the uh, rod, so that way once the rod starts to melt, I can pull this torch back and I have just the right amount of heat to do that. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, you'll find that it's pretty easy. Now it's important to note that this aluminum tubing right here is gonna melt at about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, and the solder weld rod melts at about 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So you don't wanna just keep the torch in one spot and potentially melt this tubing. You kinda of wanna move it around a little bit, uh, but you just gotta get this tubing hot enough to chemically bond with the rod. So it's as simple as that. 